Are you absolutely shitting me? Look at this thing. Oh my god. The uh, infamous or famous, dependent what you think, uh, the secret advisor slash Kovrax has designed a monstrosity. Or should we say yet another monstrosity? He just loves building these types of monstrosities. And they are absolutely insane. This is an unofficial battle, no kidding, because the block count is encroaching 300,000. That's more than three times the allowed limit. Okay, this is only like two and a half times the allowed limit. But anyways, it meets the materials and it probably doesn't have repair bots, I don't know. But um, yeah, it doesn't meet our rules to be in the official brackets. But we still want to have a battle with it. And it's possible that this recording will just crash and that I will need to use some materials provided to me by the secret advisor. Um, because as you might understand, there is no way <laughs> we're gonna win this. Like we are we're just not gonna win this battle. Like, th there is no chance. If you've seen the previous battle with the secret advisor, you've seen his official submission. And uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. This also has internal propellers, which is banned, but um, it's, 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 it's official submission. Um, I'm happy about that battle. Please watch it. Please watch it right after this one. Um, <laughs> in any case, we also looked at some of his, uh, well, well, my previous foe, the Hollywood class, which I was so amazed uh, the results over. You have to watch that one too. And then there is the Paper Naginatas, and they are so awesome. You need to check them out too. Anyways, this is the absolutely best designed one of uh, the design so far. I think this thing looks absolutely amazing. <clears throat> um... Yeah, it looks it looks really cool actually. I really like this. I really like this design. Uh, it's insane. It only costs two million. You like you can walk for days on this thing without getting anywhere. It's so large. You have like different decks here. I love the decoration here. I think uh, there has clearly been put some design love into this structure. It is a papier mâché hellscape. Yes, but. It's a beautiful looking one. And I think it's absolutely adorable. I suppose we have some AIs and stuff down here. No? Yes. And they even have heavy armor. <laughs> <clears throat> In any case. Um, we have some insane turrets here, as you can see. I wonder if there is a bridge area. Like, we're only exploring it in, like, post mood. I don't know if this will lag or not. No decoys? I thought there would be decoys here. What is this then? So here we have a good couple of radars. Oh well, it looks pretty cool. I, I must give it that. It's, it's a work of art. It really is. It looks so cool. I'm so impressed over this looks here. That's so many diff guns, man. It's completely insane. That's some crammed in there diff guns. And it has diff guns on both sides. Not that I think this thing will turn. How large is it? My god. It's 1.3 kilometers. So yeah, let the battle begin. In boosted performance mode, of course. Oh lord. I don't think it has smoke, does it? Possibly not. Can't have that. There are probably some deca decoys on top of here, right? Oh lord. We need to pause, we need to pause here. We are already in degraded mood. <laughs> this is not funny. Look at this thing. This is... I think this is Hesh Frag Explosive. Oh no! This is... 
This is so scary. This is not even funny. Well, we know what our AI is gonna try to do. Oh lord, if any of these hits, or probably <clears throat> already dead, they will hit. Oh no! We're so doomed. We're so doomed. Oh man, oh no. I almost don't want to watch it. Why don't... Look! <laughs> he captured his MIA. Oh no. The devastation. Look at that thing. And this beast only costs the same as the Gimlet, by the way. If you missed that. And we suddenly have 88 percentages. That's our health. Well, not that we needed that uh, extra detection. Because I don't think we can miss this enemy. Oh my lord. And any shot we shoot at it. Like... It ain't gonna hit anything important. What are the chances of that? And now we're lining up for broads. Oh no, we're lining up for broadside soon. This is gonna be a bloodbath. Yay, we took out, I don't know, a couple of diff guns. Well, there are a couple of more. This is just insane. You can see we're, we're just doing detonations in empty space here. Like this pattern, this like diff gun pattern is absolutely insane. You can disable so many of them without it being an issue. Oh man. <laughs> Our broadside is coming in here. Look at. Oh no. <laughs> I don't want to watch this. This is. Um well, some of them go up. Go away. Um, yeah, so I, get, I guess we're getting back for uh, defeating the Hollywood class. Spoiler alert. So basically, now I already accidentally spoiled that. If you, It's still an interesting battle. But uh, the Secret Advisor made the Hollywood class a couple of years ago. And it absolutely shredded the Draconia. So I was kind of happy that the Gimli was able to defeat it. Now, it only costs half the cost of the Gimli, so there is that. But I was still impressed it was able to defeat it. Now, the Secret Advisor brought the big artillery, and we have uh, the Jörmungandr. This is not the first Jörmungandr we have here. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, we had another Jörmungandr. And I was like asking, is the name like important for the submission for the previous, uh, for the one, I don't know which one of them I asked, but I just asked that because, yeah, I think I got one, but, uh, anyways, doesn't matter. And, uh, well, I think, I think this ha is aptly named because this huge thing, it's an enormous hellscape of papier mache and diff rods. It's like diff rod papier mache hell. Welcome. If you like building, if you if you like building alloy bricks with a lot of heavy armor, this is your worst enemy. This is uh, this is all you're gonna see in hell <laughs> if you end up there. <laughs> this is a hellscape of papier mache and diff rods. Man, this is just insane. It just spams them. Oh, I looked away for a few seconds. Whoops, the Gimli is at 69%. The nice number. Our cr like our lambs are just doing nothing. We can't do anything against it. Man. Half of its guns may be taking out. Half of the shots may miss. Doesn't matter. Adds more firepower. It just annihilates us. What happens to the Jörmungandr though? Why does it sink? This is kind of weird. We knocked off like 4%. Yay. That's something. 
The game lays however very dead and it's only been like 1 minute and 29 seconds. So yeah, there is that. <clears throat> <laughs> You're not gonna do a lot of damage. No, our Vigoletta marksman was on probably the only thing that was able to deal damage against it. <sighs> we didn't have a chance. I kind of knew that, but I still wanted to test. Why aren't like you shooting though? This gun should be able to sandblast it pretty well. Yeah, so pretty chanceless as we already kind of knew. Well, for the sake of it, I suppose we'll need to uh, do another battle just to see if we're getting the same results or if somehow the Gimla would be insanely lucky. I kind of want to investigate though why it's going so low. Look at it, we're having like a cram, we can't miss. And it's like, yay, a few wood blocks, whatever. What the hell? The Jörmungandr Super Dreadnought is at zero materials. Are you kidding me? What the hell? We're having the army of Jimadism rules, so... We didn't add more materials to it. I don't know if... If the secret advisor said to me it needs more materials than one uh, than half a million. I missed it, but... I don't think so. Whatever. Okay, that's cool. Well, the game list is spawning, so we still lost the first battle, but whatever. Let's do another round. Maybe we have chances to take this thing out if we're able to, I don't know, kill its material boxes. It's only weak point. Round two is here. Um, it takes like a full, I don't know, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes to load this thing. Well, thought it could be interesting to see if our man, the Jörmungandr Super Dreadnought, is just eating materials so fast loading all these guns. The death cloud is spreading. One thing I really wonder, that's how Secret Advisor is able to kind of delay the firing until they actually know where to shoot. This is like a funny thing. Or you like shoot at an important part and you like clip 10 barrels and you're like, yay, and you're like, nah, ain't matter that much. This looks like chimneys, except they're flat. That's so funny. I don't know why I think that's so funny. It just is. Anyways. The only chances we have of uh, doing anything to not die is to... Okay, I think it's pretty lost already. <laughs> Look at the health go down. <clears throat> nah, but... Uh, yeah, if we can make it get out of materials really fast slash not get hit by too many of the initial shots, we could be able to starve it, perhaps. We have some situations where the Gimla were able to starve the opponent. It's like a little bit boring, but if you don't have protected material boxes and stuff, you may actually lose by getting starved. Now the broadside comes here and this is what usually finish things off to my uh, opinion or my experience, I mean. I don't know, what game speed do we have? Yeah, like... Quarter, half speed. Oh no, our superstructure is looking a bit sad. Ah. Uh... Is 
It's like hanging on by a thin thread. Look, it's the 64 pounder, isn't it? No, that was one of the tiny guns. It's like we can fry so much away and it just doesn't matter. Yeah, again, I really wonder if it has decoys. Oh no. This is, uh, this is scary. Ah, oh, that section is gonna die. Look at it, we're, we're like need to load in. Yeah, diff can spam. This is basically why we can't allow diff can spam. It just, it's just a superior way to do battle, sadly enough. Chunks are missing. Superstructure is hanging on by a tiny connection strut. This cannon is now gone. Sixty-six percentages versus ninety-seven. I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose. Well, GG. Secret advisor Kovrax, you have uh, proved your point. At half the cost, the Gimle may be able to defeat the Hollowwood class, but at uh, the same cost as the Gimle, it yet again has absolutely no chances at all. I'm very happy that this design looks very cool though. That's nice. The FPS though has room for improvements. Oh lords. Did my game crash now? Ah, we're in degraded mood. And the broadside friends are popping in here. Shooting some shorter hash. Frag explosives. Insane. Yeah, we don't have any chances. Now the superstructure popped off. 58 percentages. So, yeah. Uh, oh, it was able to shoot before it died. That's so funny. It technically didn't exist. Or, I mean, I mean it did, but... It shot while being disconnected from the main structure. Gimli is in despawn territory. Well, there we go. GG. Oh, couldn't do anything about it. Hope you enjoyed this battle though. And uh, I don't know if this thing is on the workshop. But uh, I know that the secret advisor has all sorts of stuff on his workshop. So search for Jörmungandr or something. Maybe you'll find it there. In any case... Very beautiful design. I liked it a lot, except it totally annihilates the, the Gimle. And it's such a meme build that I don't know if we are able, able, uh, if we are ever able to counter against such a thing. I think warp drives might work. Anyways, this ain't an official submission, but was cool nonetheless. Hope you enjoyed it too. I surely did. But yeah. It, I, I don't think uh, the Gimla had a chance while starting this battle either, but yeah, it's completely insane. We must have been really lucky shooting off some material boxes before. Well, in any case, if you enjoyed it, do leave a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, do subscribe. And if you have good suggestions on a video you want to see, do tell me in the comments. Also remember, we have a Discord server if you want to be part of our community. And also, check out jimodesm.com. It's my own homepage. See you next time, guys. This is your host, Jimodesm. We're signing out yet again from another game of the battle.